hey, this is Keith Meyer, and it is April 18th. That's day 18 of 21 days of prayer for our executive committee, uh, executive committee search. Uh, we're praying today for character, that our new president and CEO would be a person of Christ-like character, as Colossians 2, 6 through 7 says. So then, just as you've received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to walk in him, being rooted and built up in him and established in the faith. Uh, let's take a moment and let's pray for these requests. As always, we'll pray for uh, additional items along the way, but let's pray together. Father, thank you for the opportunity to, to, to come before you and pray. Lord, many of us uh, have finalized and finished all Easter services, and uh, we're, we're, we're feeling the Monday, Lord, um, just recovering and resting and, uh, and taking time with family and uh, moving on to other pursuits and activities, Lord. But we thank you for what you did through the preaching of the word in our churches yesterday. We thank you for those who came to be reminded, those who came and heard for the first time, those who responded. Lord, those who will follow up on people who have put their faith and trust in you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the work that you've done in our churches. Lord, I lift up our future president, whoever that is, and I pray that, uh, Lord, you would prepare this leader with godly Christian character, that first and foremost they would exalt you as Lord and Savior and follow you in all things, Lord. Uh, that's what we want is somebody with integrity who can leverage that integrity and that character into leadership. Lord, we lift up uh, pastors who are serving as trustees within the executive committee. Lord, I, I lift up uh, Mike Stone and I lift up Jay McCollum and Michael Farmer. Thank you for the, the ministry that they're carrying out, Lord, as they uh, do the work that you've called them to on the EC and the work that they've been commissioned to in their churches. Lord, I pray that you continue to help them to seek balance and that, uh, that they would succeed in all that they do, Lord, and, and that they would have the help that they need to accomplish their work. Lord, we lift up Ruth Ann Williams, the, uh, the staff accountant, as she uh, counts all the beans and makes, all the, makes sure all the numbers are, are good and uh, in, in line. Lord, we thank you for her, and we pray for your grace in the work that you're doing through her life. Lord, I thank you that in, uh, in 2020, Southern Baptists gave $2 million to hunger relief. Lord, and as we see the, the devastation of war throughout the, um, the, the world, and we see the struggles, the humanitarian needs, Lord, I thank you for those gifts. We pray that they would increase and that they're used well, and that all who, who are hungry, Lord, would, not, would, would hear not only uh, the good news of the gospel, but would also have their stomach filled, Lord, that they might be comforted and encouraged. Lord, I thank you for your grace. I thank you for the opportunity to pray, and I pray your blessing on the EC search and on our convention. Lord, give us peace and encourage us and help us, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, amen. God bless you.